All right, let's hit the phone lines at 702-257-5396. We got Dave on the line. Hi, Dave. Hey there. Hey, I'm I'm uh, on I-15 driving towards Las Vegas, and I heard your show. Um, I've been experiencing some problems with my 8-year-old son. Mm-hmm. Um, every once in a while, he gets this uh, stinging type of shock. He describes it as in his uh, chest area around his heart. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit to the um, left and a little bit higher than where his heart actually is. And it, it, he says it just is painful, and it lasts from about 5 to 15 seconds. And it's random. Uh, it happens maybe once every, I don't know, couple days or once a week. Okay. And it's been happening for the past couple weeks. And, and so we're just thinking, we're driving back home, and we're thinking, man, what do we do? Should we go oh. to a doctor? I mean... Absolutely, absolutely. Is he in any sports... Say it again. Is he in any sports? Does he do sports? No, he, he, I mean he's active, but he's not. He's not doing any sports right now. Okay. All right. Absolutely. Any sort of chest pain have evaluated. I mean, you know, the fact that it's a quick stabbing pain doesn't make me think being heart as it could be in the ribs, in the right. sternum, or, or in the lungs. Because that stabbing pain, you know, is more quick as opposed to a, a pressure type issue. J- just like when grownups say that they have a stabbing pain in the heart. Yes, we check the heart. We always check out the heart. But usually yeah. a quick stabbing pain isn't like um, heaviness on the chest. I think it's a great idea to have a cardiologist take a peek. Let them check the heart see what's going on, but it may be actually intercostal between the ribs, could be in the sternum. That's why I asked if he had any trauma to him. You know, we had a kid that just fractured his sternum, you know, didn't know he fractured it, but he was just, he just got into some trauma, you know, doing one of his sports. But, um, oh. you know, I, I want to panic, but absolutely, if this has been going on for a couple weeks and it's bothering him, get it checked out. Have his pediatrician send him to a pediatric cardiologist. They're great. They probably don't have to do too, anything too invasive, but it really should get checked out, and he should get an echocardiogram. He really needs to see if there's any fluid around the heart. It's an easy Easy ultrasound, painless. The kids think it's fun because they get to watch it on the monitor. Um, but definitely get that workup done. All right, Dave? All right. I appreciate your No help. problem. You drive safe on the 15, okay? Okay, thanks.